Okay, welcome to another GIMP tutorial episode at Taker's Lab. So I've got GIMP open. Let's go ahead and open some images that I have set up for this project. And we'll open that one. And we'll open this one. And we'll open a couple of slides here. Okay, I don't really need this one. We'll close this one out. Okay, so this episode is about watermarks. And in our case, a watermark is just going to be used to identify our work as our own. It's just going to identify ownership of our work. Whether it's a thumbnail like this image I have up right now, whether it's a photo that you're going to publish online, or whether it's a video. So in our purposes, we're just going to use watermarks, watermarks to identify the ownership of the work. Uh, watermarks are used in many different things, like currency to prevent uh, counterfeit currency. They're used on driver's licenses to prevent someone from altering their driver's license. Uh, a cabinet maker or furniture maker may put a brand in the back of the or a stamp on the back of the piece of furniture to identify it as his work. Ranchers, farmers uh, used to brand livestock to prevent people from stealing their livestock and selling it. So that's what we're going to use it for. Not for branding, but for identifying um, who is the owner of the work. Okay, so let's grab this image here and let's maximize it for our window. And this is an example of a watermark. You can see the logo down here in the lower right hand corner. And this is actually a frame from a video on a different uh, YouTube channel of mine. And so I've created a watermark that I can overlay in my video editor so that that logo watermark is in the lower right hand corner of the video during the entire video so that that video is identified as my work uh, and we can do the same thing with images as well and if you if you publish books you'll notice that books always have some kind of watermark on them or logo to identify the publisher to identify the author so what we're going to do is we're going to create a a um, image watermark but it doesn't have to be an image I mean it could be it could be a, a symbol it could be your face it could be a caricature of yourself it could be a logo like I'm using here it could be your signature you know it could be anything that would identify the work as your own okay so Let's say um, I wanted to put my Tinker's Lab logo on this image here, on this, on, the, on this frame of the video. So what I'll do is I'm going to copy this. Let me go up to Edit. I'm going to select Copy, that logo. And I'm going to go back over to this image. And... I make, low, I make these overlays the same dimensions as the images and the videos that I normally work in, and that's 1920 by 1080. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an overlay image of my watermark so that I can apply it to any image or video that is in that format, and that's typically the dimensions that I work in. So I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to select Add, I'm going to add and I'm going to call this watermark and it's going to be it's going to be filled with transparency. And that when we want our entire layer except for our watermark filled with transparency so that you can see everything underneath it. We just want to overlay whatever our whatever we're going to use for our watermark. So I'm going to say okay. So now I've got a transparent layer here above this frame. So now I can go in and I can say edit 
and paste. Okay, so now I've got my logo. I've got my move tool selected. And it's kind of big, so I'm going to scale it down a little bit. I'm going to select the scale tool here. I'm going to hold down my control key so that it maintains its aspect ratio so it's perfectly circular. And about 125, I think, looks good. So we're going to scale that. And then we're going to take it and we're going to move it. Oops. Let me close that out. Go back up and grab my move tool. And we're going to grab that and we're going to move it up to the right hand corner. Now, whenever you take photos or whenever I take photos or whether I'm, and when I'm shooting video, I always try to keep the subject of whatever I'm photographing or whatever I'm videoing close to the center of the frame. So putting your watermark in one of the four corners is a good place to put it. Um, to keep it away from the subject matter. You don't want it to obscure whatever it is you're trying to convey, whether it's uh, the subject of the video or the subject of the image. So anyway, I've got this here. I've got it as a floating selection above my watermark. I like that location where it is right now. It seems to be pretty well um, even from the right side and the and the top side there and the top right hand corner so I'm going to go down I'm going to select my anchor icon I'm going to anchor it to that transparent watermark layer that we just created okay so now that I have my watermark and it's in the dimensions that I want it to be in I'm going to go ahead I'm going to I'm going to take this layer with the image and I'm going to delete it so that the only thing that is remaining is that 1920 by 1080 layer that houses my watermark. This is going to be my overlay. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to say file, I'm going to save, I'm going to save it as a watermark. I'll call it um, Tinker's Lab Watermark 1920 by 1080. And I'm going to save it in the XCF format, the default um, file format for GIMP. Okay, so let's save that. And now I'm going to go up and I'm going to export it. I'm going to export it as a PNG file because a PNG file is a lossless format, meaning it won't lose any of its clarity. And also, PNG format supports transparency. Not all formats support transparency, so you wouldn't want to export this in like a JPEG format. So I'm going to export it in a PNG format, and almost everything that you use, whether it's a, a video editor or an image editor, is going to be able to import a PNG file. Okay, so we've got that saved as a PNG file. So now let's bring up a different image, and I'll show you how easily this works. Now that we have that, now that we have that transparent watermark image defined as a 1920 by 1080 image every time that we load it into a new image or into a new video of the same dimensions it's always going to show up in exactly the same place which is which is what i like so um let me see file open let's bring up one of the images that we've used in the past so for other tutorials okay so we'll maximize this all right, so now if I go in and I, I can go ahead and close out my logo now. If I go in and I copy the um, 1920 by 1080 transparent layer that I just image that I just created with my logo on it, I just go and edit, copy, and then I go into the image that we just loaded. And I select edit and I select paste as and I select new layer. And now you'll notice that we have our watermark up here and it's the logo, the watermark logo and is exactly the same place in which we created it because the image file is exactly the same dimensions as the image we have loaded now. Now, one of the other things that you can do, I mean, I've got it at 100% opacity right now. But I can go in on this layer and I can select 
Oh, uh, let's select about 20% opacity. Right there, 20% opacity. So now you see you can still see the logo, but you can't see it very well. You can actually, you can, you can move that down even lower if you want. Okay, so like right there, that's, um, let's put it at, let's put it at 10% opacity. Now, it's not intrusive in the image at all, but you can still see it. You, this this image will still be identified as my own. So you can you can set it as low as you want, or you can set it as high as you want at full full opacity. On each individual photo or video you want to use it. And normally in my videos, I will typically set it at about 75% opacity so that you can actually see the video behind the logo. I think that's kind of a cool effect too at the same time. All right, so um, one other type of logo that we can create. And let's go ahead and we'll just hide that layer. Um, like I said, you could use a caricature. We'll copy this one. We'll bring it over here to the image we were working on. We will add another layer watermark with uh, watermark 2 and we'll make it transparent and then we'll go to edit and we'll go paste and then we can scale it a bit hold down the control key so I maintain the aspect ratio that looks about right we'll scale that grab our move tool bring it up here and then we will anchor it to our new watermark layer and there we go and now I can take this and I can make it nearly uh, transparent it's a uh, 44.6 percent opacity so let's see if we put it at 40 percent opacity is 60 percent transparent so you can still identify it just fine but it, it it blends in more with the image itself so you can you can do that or you can make it fully fully opaque but anyway like I said your watermark can be anything it doesn't have to be an image it doesn't have to be a logo it could just be your name it could be your name it could be your signature a character logo wh whatever you want to use that will identify the work as your own so when I uh, create the next tutorial video for KDE and live the video editor that I use most frequently um, I will try to go over adding um, one of these overlays that we just created um, in the video so you can see how that's also processed created you know added and and processed in the video editor all right so that's a wrap on this episode thanks for watching and I will see you in the next episode.